Uh, today we'll be walking through a few of the menus and then doing a real small piping project. First thing I wanted to show you was when you first load MetQ you'll get the toolbar here at the top but you'll also have a pull down here as well and inside this pull down you'll see our four main modules which include the mechanical, the piping, the structural, and also the ducting. We also include uh, drawing utilities that work in any drawing type, a symbol library which you can modify and add to, um, some quick draw utilities, a general bill of materials. This works with any drawing type as well. We also have bill of materials that function within each module. For example, in the piping module here, you will see a bill of materials button in the lower left. While we're in this dialog, I wanted to show you a few things as well. So each module is very similar. It has usually a palette of fittings to select from. There's 10 here in the piping. So this is a straight piece of pipe. This is the elbow and the T, for example. And then we can set our sizes and types here. Uh, our draw type is here, so we can select a uh, single line, double line, or 3D. And then typically you'll find the view draw button in the lower left, which you'll need to select to start drawing the, the, uh, the fitting. So in this example, I'm just going to draw a straight piece of pipe. And as well, I wanted to show you that in the option menu, I have turned on use elbow at bends. So let's go ahead and draw that now. So we have the straight piece. We select this type here. We don't want an open end. We pick the point in our drawing. We turn ortho mode on. This way we can use direct distance input. For example, let's go over 10 feet. So I just type that in. Then it puts the piece of pipe in there for me. Now, if I'm doing a corner, I'll start off here again. And let's go 20 feet on this one. And then we'll come down 10 feet. It puts the pipe in to the very end. At this point, it's assuming you want to go on. But if you don't, you just press the Enter button on your keyboard and then it closes the pipe up there for you. So I wanted to show you that. In the ducting module, it's very similar. So we have the main dialog. Our view draw button is at the lower left. Our bill of materials is here. And here we're just entering in some sizes We're turning on ortho mode and it puts the ducting in as shown here with the hidden lines and everything. Now we also have an options menu in the ducting dialog to draw the 3D or to turn off some of these um, lines that you see here, the draw centers, insulation, so forth. The structural module has a view draw function as well down here and here we're just selecting the the beam type that we want the bill materials is up here our draw 3d is is here here we choose the view that we want to draw in we'll draw a section puts the beam in we rotate it I wanted to also let you know about the drawing scale menu because it's it's important um, before you start a project you should really um, set these up so we can either set it equal to our dim scale setting which some people like a dim scale is basically uh, an AutoCAD variable uh, which which will factor the uh, the sizes according to a number or we can just simply go into this pull down and select the drawing scale from here. This is important when we start getting into dimensions and text and all those sort of things because they need to relate to the final 
plotting scale of our drawing. We also have MetQ configuration and this is important as well. We want to set the units here. And the other utilities I really haven't gotten into are fasteners utility, nuts and bolts library. We also have 3D for this. And also we have electric motors and material handling libraries, which are 2D. Additionally, I wanted to show you a troubleshooting um, feature that we've included in MetQ in case you run into any issues. So down at the command line, you can type MQDIAG for diagnostics. This will load this dialog. We can start a test. Here it did not find any errors, but if it did, we could always try loading or reinitializing MetQ this way. Or we can reset MetQ defaults. So I hope this helps and feel free to call us if you have any questions. The number here is 888 271-7121. Thanks and have a great day.